independent hip hop artists, if you think that it takes music theory to become your own music producer, you are so freaking wrong. Okay, I've got clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy, like Ryan B, who doesn't know how to play an instrument at all, and in less than three months, he's made over 30 beats. I've got Ange, doesn't know how to do any music theory like that. In the first two months of working with me, she went from completely scratch to finish mastering two songs. That means she wrote the lyrics, made the beat, recorded, mixed, and mastered two songs in eight weeks. Didn't have that much prior music production experience, didn't know how to play an instrument. Carlos, never even made a song in his entire life, okay? No music production experience, no music theory, no fancy gear. Didn't even make a freaking song. And in the first two weeks, made his first beat. He's about six weeks in, he's made five beats, and he's already finished recording his first fully self-produced song. Austin B, doesn't know how to play an instrument, didn't have any prior music production experience before joining, and in fact, only had made and released one song prior. Seven weeks into it, I don't even know how many beats he's made. He's made like more than a beat a week since joining the program. He actually has already collaborated with Carlos and they've actually made a collab song where Austin fully produced it. So how do you do this? How are you able to, how are these guys able to make beats without knowing music theory? Well, I'm gonna do something extremely special. I'm literally gonna give you like a deep dive tutorial. We're gonna jump into the computer today and I'm, I'm literally gonna like screen record and show you one of, a couple of the tools that we use in the Rapid Fire Music Academy where you don't need to actually know music theory and you can make amazing chord progressions. It's basically an AI chord progression generator. So I'm gonna show you that and we're gonna make a hard soulful trap beat. I'm super pumped for it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. We're gonna dive right into it. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I am personally going to open a tool that's called Nexus. You don't need it, it's not required, but uh, you know, it's it's a VST. So you can get Nexus or you could use a default one in your DAW, like where well, you could use Alchemy in, in, in uh, Logic. There's other ones, you don't need Nexus. Um, it's definitely worth it if you can get it, um, but if you can't get it, that's totally fine as well. So um, we're gonna just try to do something like pretty epic I'm going to actually go to this pack. We'll try that. And then I'm going to pull up this tool called Cthulhu, which is, this is how we're going to be implementing that music theory. It's an AI chord progression generator, which is pretty sick. Um, and you can even get little expansion packs, but this whole tool is 40 bucks. I'm going to show you what it can do. And it's, it's pretty nuts. Um, try here. I like E minor. I like E minor. I'm going to pull up my keyboard and I'm not going to use, you know, I'm not going to use my MIDI keyboard. I'm going to literally use like the keyboard on my freaking thing right here. When I hit one note, it plays an entire chord, which is insane. We're going to pick somewhat of a faster BPM, like a one... We're gonna go like 165. Right? So that. Quantitize. Nice. Roll off a pretty good amount of the high end. Nice. All right, we're going to go next to a... Um, 
we're gonna get a vocal chop immediately. I'm gonna go to Distant Voices to do that. This is called Arcade, 10 bucks a month. Ooh, it's got a new one. And what's cool is we're gonna literally set the BPM and key. So the BPM's already set, but the key is E minor. Now everything I play is gonna be the same as this. So I'm gonna hit play, and then I'm gonna play these and see how they sound. That sounds really good. <laughs> I like that more. Kind of hard to go wrong with Distant Voices. It's my favorite pack. I like those. This is my favorite one right here. I literally held one note down. We're gonna go for a guitar. We're gonna go for soulful I don't even know what's gonna pop up here. This is Splice. Uh, and we're gonna be in just, I'm just gonna give it E minor and see what happens. Let me just, I'm just gonna play some stuff and we're in 165. Okay. I don't know if guitar is the I kind of like that and let's hear one more that's sick but what I'm gonna do is you're gonna notice it's like wait Lee it's not in the right key or I'm sorry it's not in the right uh, BPM so I'm gonna literally time stretch it let's see what that ends up doing to it yeah i fuck with it some effects on here but I am gonna go back into arcade because like fuck it why not but this is easy and fast bro like it's not that hard to do this shit it's really not I'm fucking around at this point I'm seriously fucking around I've got Cthulhu arcade and splice which by the way if you're in my Rapid Fire Music Academy, these are all things that are at your disposal. Uh, if you're not in the Rapid Fire Music Academy and you want to learn how to make your own music, like fully produce your own songs in 90 days and do shit like this, all you have to do is book a call with me below. Just make sure that you're ready to invest financially. It's not free and it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. But uh, it is exactly what every independent artist does genuinely need. Pocket Band. Let's see what this is. I'm going to try to find, we want to find some kind of washed out guitar. Suck. They all suck. I hate those. I knew that one wasn't going to work. Uh, we might just stick with what we've got, to be honest with you. I like this orchestra stuff. This is cool. I 
I heard something in there I can use. We're gonna pitch those up. Fire. Listen to those strings. Sounds so dumb. Just gotta change it, it didn't. Let's go drums. This is gonna be fast. I'm not even gonna fuck around here. Let's see what's over here. Cool. some extra ones. Yep. Cool. That guitar is pissing me off at the end. That's okay. This one, so I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go fucking fast. So I'm gonna actually layer it. But I'm gonna EQ it. I'm gonna EQ it a lot. Just like, that's just too much, you feel me? But this one too. Nice. And we're gonna bounce those in place. Nice. Way cleaner. I'm just gonna say clap.
Actually, that's too fast. <coughs> well, it's not too fast, but. Nice. And you know what my plan is for the chorus? What I'm going to do is I'll have either the guitar string come in for the chorus. And then I like the, uh, I like both of them. Actually, just one of them. Try it again, it's a little too busy. I liked it a little bit less. Actually, fuck it, I like the other one. I like that other pattern. One more time. Alright, so I'm gonna super quick arrange this. I'm gonna bounce this. God damn, I've been just sitting in this chair way too fucking long. My fucking back starting to hurt because I'm fucking old. JK! I'm not even 30 yet, bitch. Shut up. Uh, I think for this song, we're going to start with verses. So I'm going to give you four of those. And then two of them. Go ahead. A chorus. I might even have the strings come in halfway through the... Get rid of 
with that last little stupid ass one. So I didn't like it. Fuck the bass. Yeah, and then we'll hear how it comes into the chorus. I fuck with it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. Um, yeah, made this beat really quick. Wanted to kind of just mess around and come up. Man, what would you even call this beat? Like, what kind of fucking... I don't know what you... Call, like, it's, it's like a chill trap beat. It's like a chill, soulful trap beat. Cool, chill, soulful trap beat. How to make a chill, soulful trap beat. Anyway, hope you liked this. Hope you enjoyed. I mean, you can see how fast and easy it is to make beats. Remember, I was an independent hip-hop artist... Who had to rely on people and buy beats and i never ever have to do that again so if you want to learn how to become your own music producer in 90 days join the rapid fire music academy click below book a call just make sure you're ready to pay up and invest if you're not it's all good just don't book the call with me it's not an informational call it's not a networking call just make sure you're ready to go all right so look forward to speaking with you hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you on the next one peace